Okay, so the way this works is, is I take a razor blade and I place my thumb and forefinger uh, right close to that corner edge. And then I place my thumb and forefinger against the top of the body to sort of act as a guide. And that keeps me from scraping too far down the body. It, it will stop right at the line where the maple top meets the alder body. And it's just a matter of scraping and then gradually working towards that line. Now once I've removed most of the color with the scraper, I'll go back in with some 220 grit sandpaper and I'll just very carefully sand my faux binding to remove any uh, excess color and to smooth it out uh, because razor blades will uh, scratch the surface of that wood. So uh, going over it with a little bit of sandpaper helps. It also works better, I think, when you start to get into tight curves sharp points and that sort of thing. But the one thing you want to do is, as you're sanding, um, is to keep that sand, the edge of that sandpaper um, about a 32nd of an inch away from the line where the color meets the, the top wood. Um, if you get too close to it, you end up softening that line and it doesn't look as crisp. Now how thick the binding will appear from the front depends on how far over I roll the, the razor blade. So, um, and that's purely subjective. You can make it as thick or as thin as you feel looks appropriate. But what you wanna do is to make sure that you keep it, the thickness consistent. And really the key to doing this uh, most effectively is just to take short scraping strokes and really pay close attention to what you're doing with relation to the overall effect. And if you notice it's getting thinner in one area, um, just focus on that specific part to make sure that everything, that the whole uh, faux binding treatment is consistent. Oftentimes as you get into these little corners here, or these little uh, rounded areas, it's hard to get it to look consistent in its thickness, but if you just gradually rotate that blade over, you'll see it gradually get thicker. After I finish scraping the sides to create this faux binding, uh, the only thing I have left to do is just to seal it in. And I'll use, you know, whatever uh, clear coat I'm going to be using for the guitar. And that's really all there is to making a simple faux binding treatment on a solid body electric guitar.